The Nipmuc Nation by Jamie Smith. The purpose of this project is to explore the history of the Nipmuc tribe in central Massachusetts because I want to discover how I am connected to the heritage of this tribe. To do this, I will be using online and secondary sources to gain further knowledge on this topic. The area that will be focused on in this project is Worcester County, specifically Grafton, Massachusetts and Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. My connection to this project is that I'm from Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and the Nipmuc tribe has a tribal office and a reservation in South Grafton, which is about 10 minutes away from my town. This is a map that helps show the distance between Grafton, which is that brown speech bubble, and Shrewsbury, which is at the top. And then you can also see where Worcester is, just to give an idea of where these towns are. This is a map that shows where Grafton is in Massachusetts, and um, this is where the reservation and the tribal office of the Nipmuc tribe are located today. Some background and history on the Nipmuc tribe. They are the original inhabitants of the Worcester County area, and they're an Algonquian tribe, so they speak a dialect of that language. And uh, the original name of Grafton, Massachusetts was Hassan Amisco, which means place of small stones, and that is still the name of their state-recognized reservation today, but the town name was changed to Grafton. And they were known as an Indian praying village as they were forcefully converted to Christianity by Reverend John Elliott in 1671. Some more history about the Nipmuc tribe in this region. Um, there's a lake called Lake Quinsigamon, which is a body of water that runs between Shrewsbury, Massachusetts and the city of Worcester. And the name Quinsigamon was originally given to the entire Worcester area by the Nipmuc. And the name means pickerel or freshwater fishing place. And that is still the name of the lake today. This is an image to give an idea of where Lake Quinsigamon is. At the top of this picture, that town is Shrewsbury, and at the bottom of the picture where the bridge is cut off, that's where Worcester starts, and so this is Lake Quinsigamon. Some information about the reservation located in Grafton. Something unique about this reservation is that it has always been owned and occupied by natives, and it has always been under tribal leadership, which has totaled over 400 years and the tribe is very proud of this and um, their tribe once owned a large property and a lot of the land was taken over by European settlers so the reservation is all that is left and it only totals about 1400 square feet. This is an image of a few of the buildings that are currently located on the reservation. They're partially original structures and partially newer structures. This is an image taken on the other side of one of the buildings we saw in the previous images. It's a sign indicating that it's an Indian reservation, as well as the fact I stated earlier, how the land has always been under native occupation and tribal leadership. Some more important features of this reservation. It holds a home called the Homestead, uh, where generations of Nipmuc families have lived, and the original structure still stands today, along with some newer reinforcements and additions, as I had mentioned earlier. And this reservation is the focal point of all Nipmuc cultural events. Um, it's the original location where their tribal powwows would occur. And they have now renamed uh, these powwows the annual Hassanamisco Indian Fair, and it's held every July. And um, this reservation features pieces of native heritage as well as intangible heritage, such as um, this fair that they hold each July. And through stewardship and tribal leadership, the reservation and the Nipmuc people have been able to preserve their culture and their heritage, even though, as we saw earlier with the demographics of Grafton, they're a very small percentage, they still work to preserve their culture. This image, along with the next image, are photos from the most recent fair held at this reservation. A few of the reasons why projects like these are so important, Indigenous heritage is frequently whitewashed and looked over as if it's not as important as any other type of heritage. Schools do not provide adequate education on this topic. In fact, I barely had any education on Native American 
history or culture besides the story of the first Thanksgiving when I live so close to a tribe that is still carrying on their traditions today. And the fact that the Nipmuc tribe has assumed stewardship of their heritage and been able to preserve their culture um, really shows how important it is for us to learn about it. Um, everyone has a connection to Native American heritage, whether they want it or not, and it is our job to learn about it. And this project has helped me gain a greater appreciation for the area I live in and left me wishing I hadn't known about it earlier or had thought to study it earlier. And I hope that this project helps to inspire others to find their connection to Indigenous heritage.